guys? My name is Mark Samuel. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to RC Vlog. Guys, today's the first time we're going to do a Tamiya Tuesday. So I'm on this huge Tamiya kick. Huge Tamiya kick. And I haven't built any of the cars. And it's because I want to start building them. I like. I want it to be its own day. So we're going to start Tamiya Tuesdays. Uh, kind of similar to Tech Tuesdays. But every Tuesday, it's either going to be a Tech Tuesday or a Tamiya Tuesday. But we're going to do Tamiya builds on Tuesday. And we are going to start a new build today. And we're gonna unbox one. So, the thing about Tamiya cars, how do I put this? Basically with Tamiya cars, whenever you get done with the actual like chassis and the roller and everything, you're about halfway done. It's the bodies, it's the bodies that take forever. Let me show you my Tamiya cars at the moment. So that one right there, Toyota Hilux, like I was really excited about that one. It came with a light kit. Look at how pretty that body is. I got done with the chassis, I was super excited. And then I completely shortchanged the body. Look at that. Oh, it's like solid color. It was going to take forever to cut the stickers out. Look, even the tail light is hanging down back there. Um, I kind of half a that one, half, half butt. I was going to say half something else. But I didn't do a great job on that one. I feel like that one kind of fell apart. Uh, we got some more Tamiya's over here. Whoa, whoa, almost fell down, almost tripped. Uh, we have this Tamiya. So that one I'll show you, show you downstairs. That's in my office. But that one, I never painted the body on. I actually bought that one already built, and it came with the body. So, another one without the body. This one right here, look at how beautiful that one is. The old Volkswagen Carmagia. And look at the body details. Like, that is going to take you forever. All those little aluminum pieces, or those little chrome pieces, I'm sure are pieces. Um, here's another Tamiya. That's my Euro truck. So, I did do a two-tone paint job on that. However, that body did take me a long time. All that cutting of the stickers, and it doesn't even look that great. I have a TTO, I got like microphones and stuff. There's a TTO one right there. I believe that one is the, what is that one? Oh, that one's the Ford Mustang. So Ford Mustang TTO, TTO one. And then this is the, I don't know what that one is either. What are these? Oh, that was the AMG Mercedes TTO two. I got two Grasshoppers up here. This is actually the Grasshopper two, the Grasshopper, Grasshopper, Grasshopper two. This is the Grasshopper um the green edition the limited edition green and then there's a black lunchbox behind it i got a frog i got another lunchbox black edition i got another to me a euro kit yeah got a lot hold on i got more downstairs here is that volkswagen van so this one came with a hard show when i bought it i'll try to remember to put a link in the eye above to this car because when i bought it i actually got a good deal on both those cars i bought two cars in that lot in that deal um, but that's just a regular chassis. The body's not even mounted, but I think it looks good slammed. Um, I got more Tamiya cars out in the garage. I have a random pro driver sitting in my living room. No, he's helping with the summer camp. We're doing the summer camp today. We're this Today's the kickoff. Um, but while we're waiting, we're going to start some Tamiya kits. Anyways, yeah, that's Mr. Spencer Klein. He's ranked number 31 in the world at the moment. Look at all the snacks for the uh, the summer camp. Okay, hold on, going in the garage. All right, and then we got this Tamiya. I believe this is a TTO2. So I bought this off an auction because the body looks super cool. It had like this pearl coat. It was Mustang that kind of matches a Mustang over there. Don't disregard all the, uh, the junk in the garage. Anyways, I thought this was really cool. I bought it and they painted it with like paint from Home Depot. You can't do that. You can't use non-Lexan paint on Lexan bodies because it ends up flaking really bad. So basically every time I move it, see how you can see the flaking coming off here? Every time I move the body, the flake comes off. So that body's pretty much done. Oh, that one really bothers me. I gotta get a new body for that or something because yeah, that body really badly bothers me. Oh, okay. So those are my Tamiya's at the moment, unless I can think of anything else, but let's go pick the one that I wanna start building now. Okay, so the car that we're building first. I feel like the first kickoff car to build there's only there's only one you you gotta start with the grasshopper and this grasshopper is important and i'll tell you why in here in just a second that was a lot of ends a while in here and here just a second anyways keep going so we are building this guy this is the tamiya grasshopper so this car actually came out on a very special year the year of my birthday um <laughs> this one came out in 1984 uh that, that's another thing that makes it so special to me. It was also, I, I believe it was debuted. It was in the, I used to watch Punky Brewster growing up. And there was a Punky Brewster episode where I believe they had a Wild Willie, a Lunchbox, a Grasshopper. They had a frog in there. But they had a whole bunch of different Tamiya cars. This car, one could argue this is what kind of took, boosted, or started the two-wheel drive off-road. Two-wheel drive off-road game. So 
This was like ahead of its time when it was released. It came with a 380 motor, which if you're not sure of how big the 380 motor is, I believe it's the size of like a, like a 16 scale car. It's a really small motor, so it's not super fast, but there's just so much nostalgia on these cars. I, I feel like there's no other car to kick off this, this to me a Tuesday with. One great thing about these cars, they're super affordable, super affordable. I think these retail for like 120. I'll put a link in the description below. All Tamiya cars for the most part are pretty affordable. They have some of the higher end ones, but one reason why I like, and I'm very intrigued with building Tamiya cars is that they are, they actually appreciate in value. They're one of the few RC cars that will go up in value. Um, that's why I have so many of them. And at the very least, like basically on the used market, they go for exactly what the, what you bought them for. So. If you can get a little bit of joy out of them, a little bit of fun out of them, which you, I know you can't. Why is my dog barking right now? Do I need to get mad at my dog? Let me go find my dog. Okay, the dog's good. Um, a lot of people comment on the fact that we have a Christmas tree still out or that we're getting um, an early start on Christmas this year. Uh, that Christmas tree is still out from last year and it's probably gonna stay up since it's almost Christmas time already. Who doesn't like Christmas trees though? Anyways, back to this car. So they had this car, it came out in 1984, and then they re-released it, I believe in 2014? 2005, 2005 is when they re-released it. So this is a re-release, this isn't the original. However, if you can find the original, jump on it. They go for a lot. Some of the most expensive vintage cars are Tamiya cars. I saw, I once saw a Tamiya Blazin Blazer. They're going between three and five thousand um, dollars. Obviously, they did not cost that much when you first bought them. Probably between five and six hundred. They go up in value, but these are underrated. And I'm going to show you why they're so underrated because we're about to unbox this thing. Oh my god! Like, look at how nicely packaged this. Look, it tells you a little bit of history here, and then. <laughs> It's got this all the stuff sectioned off the body beautiful One of the things that I like about this kit in particular is you don't have to paint the body the body is already What it should be so all I have to do is put the stickers on like I said I Always fall apart of the body like the body is at the very most your halfway point So what I'm gonna do with this build is I'm gonna start with the body once the body's done I'm gonna build the rest of the car But one thing that I'm not a big fan of but this has is look parts trees guys it's got parts trees galore. This one did come with an ESC. Let's go see the motor. Motor's gotta be in here somewhere. Oh look, there's the stickers. Where's my motor at? Where's my motor at? Oh, I bet you the motor is in this. Whoa, gosh, see I'm messing it all up. It's too pretty. Anyways, it comes with parts trees. Let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, your motor's in here. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me cut this open. All right, got it cut open. So there's your history, like a little bit about the Tamiya Grasshopper. And then here is the motor. See, the motor's small. It's not like a, it's a 380 size. It's like the size of a, like the mini Traxxas cars. It's not big at all. Um, you got some, some gears and stuff in here. So I love how per, like nicely sectioned off and how very clean this is. Like this is, oh, this is freaking awesome. All these build, like a lot of kit builds are easy, but are they this nicely sectioned off with a little bit of history? I mean, that's freaking sweet. So yeah. I'm gonna just take the body out, just start with the body, and then we'll do the car kit, or the actual chassis. So I talked to my friend Doug, who builds Tamiya kits all the time. Actually, let me flip this over so you guys can get the, the full effect. Look, there, there you go, yeah. So he builds Tamiya kits all the time, and he told me that I need to get some of these. I don't think this is the actual one he has, but look, these are low profile, flush cut, um, I guess, Nippers? Is that is that nip, nip nippers? Is that a good one? Anyways, they'll be able to cut the stuff off the the uh, the parts trees without leaving as much excess plastic on it. So I did get these. I got this from Walmart. It comes with a little uh, needle nose, which I'm gonna bring that needle nose to the the uh, RC summer camp because that's gonna be really really helpful whenever we start mounting those Eclipse on a slash car. Because my God, those whew, those those can get bad. Look. Look, it looks like these are actually already die cut. If that's the case, that's gonna make this body build a lot easier. Again, I don't have to paint it, I just have to do the stickers. I thought I had to cut all these out. Uh, that's gonna save my hands like crazy and my happiness uh, a lot. No, I think it's gonna be fun either way. But look at this, look at the detail that they put in these kits. I mean, how awesome is that? It tells you, oh, uh, this isn't history by the way. This is just kind of, kind of uh, high points of the car, but 
golly these kits are so sweet and to just think this is only 120 bucks like this is a kit that everyone every true rc enthusiast should have should build oh man i'm so excited we're gonna get started well guys i hope you liked this video if you did let me know what you think in the comments below let me know what you think about tamiya tuesday i know it just kind of started but we're gonna just do some tamiya progress and if you if you don't have a tamiya card get one again i'll put a link in the description below of my favorite one so far even though i haven't really built any but yeah hope you liked this video if you did smash the like button subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell and you guys will see me next time later guys